Robos here, back with more From the Depths. It's been updated to 1.0, and it seems most of my ships have been converted over properly. properly. The Edgelord is floating better now. It's rocking a little bit. The cargo boop is doing just fine. The gathering cube is barely afloat. Disgusting. A shame for my fleet. Do it, Baltimore. Ram this abomination. No. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shit. I might have packed too much nukes in it. The new heavy armor blocks makes the game, well, the heavy ships look much better. Oh, Baltimore. Jesus Christ. Atomic circumcision. <laughs> the gathering cube was a stopgap. Now I have the opportunity to build something much more ambitious. I think circles are the biggest kryptonite for block games. Oh, hey, it's a pair of glasses for the ocean. I'm building an oil rig, so I wanna double this and then erect pontoons straight up. I'm not gonna use much exotic materials. This is just an art piece. It's gonna sit there and look pretty. It'll be full of wood. That way it's gonna be cheap to build. And have lots of buoyancies. Boy, boy, buoyancies? Boy, soy boy. Oops. It became Duracell batteries. <laughs> uh, oil rig is like a smurgus torta. Many layers of cream scramps, but with a big hole in the middle. You know, I can't make the drilling tower too big. We have to have a very low center of gravity on this thing. We're gonna thin it out a bit. Dude, that, that ain't half bad. There might still be some ambition left inside of me. Oh shit, this is oof, funky. We're upside down. Insert joke about Australia. <laughs> Alright, dude, that seems somewhat realistic. I think the drill bit of a real oil rig bends a bit, yeah? Layer by layer. Uh, bit by bit, our Smurgus Torta grows. I forgot to turn on the better graphics. Are you kidding me? Look how good this game is now. The shadows. Dude, I'm gonna have so much fun decorating this. It's a little bit plain right now, but the overall structure is finished. Dude, I just realized balancing this thing will be a bitch. Welcome behind the scenes. This is what I'm trying to copy. And I would say it's a pretty swell job so far. It's like coloring a coloring book. These pipes and the media has one thing in common. They're fake. <laughs> There's no purpose. That looks really good. It, it's looking good filling the ozone layer full of carbon hydrates. I'm happy with it, but it's a secret ingredient missing. Personality. We're gonna put the sign up here. Uh, oh. Oh yeah, the shaft is actually spinning. <laughs> That's so adorable and disgusting at the same time. I love it. Coomer Incorporated. <laughs> oh god, look at this. Hello everyone, I'm still here. Yes, you are, Coomer. Thrilling and hard to reach places. Here it is. The Coomer Oil Rig in all its glory. It's pretty big. Dude, the oil rig fits so good in with the cargo boop. It's like they were made for each other. It's part of my fleet now. I've added some rudimentary anti-air and anti-ship weaponries. <laughs> Tomahawk missiles. Expensive but efficient. And we have plenty of resources on an oil rig. Oh wow, that's... That was surprisingly quick. The, the torpedoes didn't even make it. I hidden the torpedoes inside the pontoons. So there's a massive amount of wood and metal in the way. And... I am slacking, what the hell? They just lowered my upload rate. Look at them. Oh, he here comes the boost. <laughs> It's just like my upload right now. <laughs> uh, <gasps> well, yeah, those going quicklier. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm busy. You know what? Let's not even question it. It's done. It's done. You can traverse wherever you want on this oil rig. Even go up the stairs to the sign. And we have a McWallers here. On the oil rig, just like uh, Krusty Burgers. I think they had one in an <laughs> episode. The biggest threat on the ocean is the ocean itself. So we have to make sure our buoyancy is correctly attuned, which it seems to be tipping over. No? Dude. Oh no, are we tipping? I can look straight down into the ocean. Holy. Oh, cargo boom! Oh fuck, whoa! Oh shit, this is it. This is it. Whoa! Oh! Oh, it's not bad at all. Let's actually survive. Dude, I can do it. Let's do some Evil Knievel stunt jumps. Whoa! <laughs> I've managed to build something that defy gravity itself. That's how fucking good I am. I am the best. We're back in the campaign. Constructing the oil rig. It's gonna be my main capture device. I've heard that they're gonna start drilling, literally drilling for oil under the ice caps. <laughs> They're gonna fuck up so bad. It looks a bit like a motherboard. Oh, look at this. It's riding itself up. Fuck yeah, just like planned. The oil rig might seem big. It really isn't next to the Baltimore. The Baltimore is one big hunk of death and destruction. We're gonna send the Angelot out to do battle. It's the most overtuned ship I have. Very resource friendly as well. Dude, this Pirate of the Caribbean sounding music better not be copyrighted because I'm going on an adventure to reclaim what I've lost. Let's send the Baltimore up north. Edge Lord is taking care of the coast. Wait, who the hell are you? Are the Onyx watches here? We allied you, cunts. Go away. First big battle of 1.0. A little plunderer. Let's smash it. The first big battle of 1.0. And new music. I don't know what I think about this music though. It's a little bit electronic, uh, factory ish. Or whatever you can call it. I don't listen to music. I'll turn the radio off in the car. Oh, this isn't even a battle, it's a slaughter! It's being carved open like a pumpkin. This is what happens when wood faces metal. Wood used by Neanderthals versus rolled homogeneous armor. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Goddamn Neanderthal ship. Look at this! They added like little damage model thingy wingy so decals I don't know what it is it does, it, does it spread between the blocks or something I like it we have a flunder a graper and a fishing hole we're back to where this is actually where we left off last time look at this the flares firing the missiles bending this game is gorgeous Perhaps can trick more people into buying it. I can't steer my ship. Why? Oh, okay, that's why. The wheel is gone. What the hell? This is dangerous. You know what? Fuck this. I'm taking cover. We still have two turrets. Oh, you mother! It. This is what's been hurting me so much. It's spamming missiles at me. We're suppressing each other. Oh, whoa, what the hell? No, that was a really big, that was a big torpedo. They might have changed the design of it. Oh, another one. Ooh. Ow, oh, no! I only have tiny torpedoes. 
Oh, we don't get hit by all the missiles though. My flares are actually working. Launching them way off target. This piece of shit is hurting my ego a little bit. <laughs> How are you still alive? Die, please. That isn't good. There's a hole straight through my ship. <laughs> oh, come on. Perhaps my torpedo defense isn't good enough because there's a hole straight into my cargo hold. There's still some room for improvements. And copycatting, I'm gonna take those torpedoes. Today we have started a global empire. Coomer Incorporated will spread across the entire world. Here we have the second oil rig being built by the cargo boop. We're gonna have an entire army of cargo boops moving resources around. Here is Baltimore and Edgelord building number three. But we actually left off in the previous episode. So we have completely caught up. Did I spit on the screen? <laughs> Very well. Like and favorite this shit. Join the navy today. And by navy I mean my navy, not your nation's navy. Unless you already are in the navy. <laughs> <laughs>